They're not everyone's favourite bird, but the white ibis is considered a barometer of a city's health, and a new study has delivered a worrying diagnosis. Testing of their eggs has found high levels of toxic artificial chemicals, and that paints a dirty picture of urban life. Here's Environment's reporter Sarah Clark. In most parks or rubbish tips, you can't escape seeing one of these. And while many consider them a pest, the native white ibis is a good barometer of a city's health. It's for that reason a team of scientists tested the pollution levels in eggs found in 11 city sites across the east coast and compared them to those found in the bird's natural environment further inland. And what they found was a dirty diagnosis. The pollutant levels in urban sites are much higher than um, those found in the inland sites. Seven to nine times higher in fact. And not only that, but the eggs were smaller in size, weight, even the eggshell was thinner. That too could have problems for the bird's fertility. You can infer that there's a relationship with the higher pollutant levels and the um, potentially lower reproductive sex success in urban areas versus inland areas. That may be music to the ears of those who don't particularly like this unusual looking bird. But it's not just the ibis that could be in trouble. And other animals feed on those, particularly things like uh, sea eagles for example, the higher up you get in the food chain uh, from ibis, the more you get this concentration of these sorts of pollutants. It's a worrying sign for the future of some native species that like to call the city home, but it's a bigger concern if the problem spreads inland and country dwelling birds are struck with a similar diagnosis. Sarah Clark, ABC News.